You hear a lot of people say, myself included, about the practice, about consistency. And it is so true. But it also can be really challenging as well. I'm reading this book, but it's audio, um, Psycho-Cybernetics by Dr. Maltz, I think. Um, and on the second chapter, he's asked that you listen to it three times a week for a period of 21 days. And I've started my first week of doing that. And it's just, I was listening to it this morning on my walk and I felt this sense of rush. I wanted to rush through it because I thought, oh, at least I've done it. But that's me pushing against this practice, this consistency, because for me, I'm thinking I haven't got time or I haven't got the space to do this. What's it really going to do for me? But these are all the things that are going to come in when you do practice, when you're consistent. You, it's all these pushbacks. But when you keep doing it, when you keep practicing, then something else comes in. It's like when you first go to the gym or start meditation or cooking the first dish you've ever cooked using this recipe. It's clumsy, it's awkward. You don't think you're going to be able to do it and actually you don't really like doing it. Or do you like doing it, but you really do enjoy it. So you're questioning yourself all the time. But this practice, this consistency brings this all up for you to look at, to think about, to feel. And it's okay to feel all these things. It doesn't mean you've done it wrong, you're doing it wrong, or that this is not what you should be doing. It's just a part of the process. It brings it all up for you. And when it does, process it, write it down, feel it, allow yourself to feel it. Say it's okay because it's a part of the process. You haven't done anything wrong. As always, sending you so much love. Bye.